Christy and I'm here with a shoe box for a boy 10 to 14. This is one of the soccer ball boxes that we made from our packing party so I can't wait to show you what's inside but I also want to show you these little tiggers. Aren't they cute? They are on sale right now on Amazon. You can find the link at blessingsinashoebox.com. I ordered two and I just double checked and they're still marked down. But I am going to take one and put it in a shoe box and one to send as fillers. I'm going to start doing that, setting aside a portion of what I have for fillers because we know that if you've worked at the processing center, you know that um, packing shoe boxes and, or inspecting shoe boxes is really a hard part of the job because you are never sure if there is going to be a very many things inside the shoe box. So when you open them up, you have oftentimes a lot of air that is being sent in the shoe boxes. And so we take um, things like this, plush, um, all kinds of sets of different like uh, hygiene kits or uh, sunglasses or shirts or sh flip flops. I love sending um, those types of things to the processing center in a box marked fillers so that those people that are working there can open those boxes up and take out those items to fill in the shoe boxes that are half empty. So. Today I am taking one tigger and sending it as a filler and putting another tigger in a shoe box. So just a reminder to think, start thinking about sending fillers. Um, if you want to be a part of our plush filler project, go to blessingsinashoebox.com and sign up. We are trying to get as many plush fillers sent as possible because um, so many boxes come through and there's nothing soft inside. So blessingsinissuebox.com, look for the fillers tab or the plus, plush fillers uh, project tab and go on there and sign up if you're interested. All right, so I'm gonna open this wonderful, you can see it's really full, it's heavy, it's tiny bit, the rubber band's um, keeping it down and it's a tiny bit stretched over, but I think it'll be just fine. All right, so I'm gonna open the shoe box and show you everything that's inside. And remember, this was from our packing party. But these are the boxes, kinds of boxes that we packed at our packing party. Soccer boxes, soccer ball boxes are one of the hardest um, shoe boxes to pack, especially if you have the number five soccer balls. So this is another example of a fun shoe box for a boy 10 to 14. This is our disclaimer on the top. You can prep, you can print out your own disclaimers if you want to that says you have not, all these things that are on the disclaimer you did not include. So you, making sure that um, they know that you are an experienced shoe box packer and what you have in here is allowed and hopefully it'll make it easier for them at the processing center. Uh, this is the other thing that's at the top. It's my printable, how to inflate a soccer ball in all these different languages. So I always try to put that at the top here and um, the soccer ball so they'll be able to see that wow item when they open the lid. All right, so I'm gonna go rather quickly so you can see what's inside. This is the fishing kit Michelle put together and she used the can koozie if you want the directions for this. It's on our um, website, blessingsinashoebox.com, and it's on the tutorials page where it shows you how to put these together. I love the Velcro closure. It's just such a nice small kit, and it fits real easily in a shoebox. All right, here is his sunglasses. I love these sunglasses. They're the two-tone. I think I got these on clearance at, they're like a, Ray-Ban style. I got them on clearance uh, at Walmart, gosh, probably in January. It was a long time ago. So it's, it's wonderful when God provides us with those deals like that. And um, it's in the middle of the season and you can grab them up. It's always a blessing. Here's, he has a pair of black socks all rolled up. He has, let me show you if you can see what is in here. He has a Captain America figure. 
I was able to get those on clearance at Walmart. And I think um, they're gonna be really exciting for a boy to open in a shoe box. He has this pullback dinosaur car. I'm gonna try to get closer. Here's the face. That's fun for um, really the boys of any ages. I love those. And then this is a, like a spider type fidget spinner. These are fill, little gems filling in those little spots where we don't want to send air. So this is a fun toy for a boy 10 to 14. Here is his friendly Swede a pump that I just, I splurged a little bit on them when they were on clearance. And I'm so glad I bought so many because having them this small just is really, really convenient for packing shoe boxes. Um, this is a really cool, I think it's a matchbox. No, it's a Hot Wheels um, race car for him. Fills that little spot there. Here's something else that fills the spot. These pump flashlights are really fun. I love including those in a shoe box. He has his Casio calculator. Oh, upside down, there it is. For his schoolwork, here it is. I'll go ahead and take his ball out and take the rubber band off because I have stuck some things. I, it's really important to roll when you're, when you're packing these soccer balls to put something inside. Roll up a t-shirt, put a beanie baby in something so that it's not completely crushed and the bladder gets ruined. So here's what this is from the packing party and somebody packed this really cute dodo bird. So funny that that's in there. And it's a pair of underwear, a plush heart for a backpack, and the number five, size five soccer ball, big Franklin soccer ball. It's amazing that all of the stuff fits in there with that ball. He has a nice spoon. And this is a little poppet fidget spinner, or not spinner, but fidget poppet toy. And here's his water bottle. Let's see what's inside. I really urged all the people that were at the packing party to pack as many things in the water bottle as possible. So let's see what we can pull out here. This is his pocket prayer with the cross and on the back has the, the little uh, saying, this paper pocket or prayer pocket was especially made to keep you in your pocket, carry it with you as a reminder that you are always surrounded by God's love. I love you and I'm praying for you. So Michelle made these very, very special um, prayer pocket crosses to put in, these, especially these older boys and older girls boxes. Here's some DMC floss. You never know what you can use floss for. Very handy at tying things up. Here is a soccer ball fidget spinner. All these little gems inside here. I should have started to count how many toys because Franklin Graham says send more toys. Here is his hygiene kit. I think I'm gonna go back um, at the end of this video, count them and put them in the show notes. A little carabiner, handy to use for putting something together, bundling something up. A set of dice and an organza bag. I have um, a whistle here on a string, which I love including in these soccer ball boxes. A uh, uh, toothbrush. And pen, comb. Let's see, I see, the thing that's in the way is kind of this measuring tape here. Carabiner net measuring tape from Harbor Freight. Lots of pens and pencils. This is a shaped, <laughs> shape sharpener. It's a apple with a bite out of it. That's funny and another plain round pencil sharpener. We've got some more pencils, eraser top pencils, another sharpener, another big eraser, pencil, multi-pen. I love those multi-pens. 
another pencil. Oh, here's a little mending kit. Scissors. I'm going to squeeze the bottle so the scissors can get out right. Nice pair of scissors for school. And the last thing is a sharpened pencil. So all my sharp pencils get sharpened before they go in a shoebox just because when you start from a flat top pencil, it is really hard to sharpen with these manual ones. So if I start them with the sharp, already sharpened, it's, they're going to be in better shape for school, ready to go. Um, here is, oh, we have Captain America. Now, I'm sorry, Captain America was under the bottom, and now he, I show you he has his shield and it fits in his hand. There were quite a few um, clearance superheroes at Walmart, and so I got them all, and I'm having fun putting them in these boxes. This is colored pencils and a God Loves You coloring book inside the pencil pouch. This is a different coloring book. This has, let's see, this is the front cover, it's specifically for boys this age. It has um, several soccer pictures, fish, truck, uh, tools are the next page I can see. So this is really fun. You can print it out on blessingsinashoebox.com under the printables. And here is a dinosaur coloring book. So he has lots to um, color with, color on. Here's his ruler. I put those in diagonally. This um, is a nice canvas backpack. I'm just gonna open it up so you can show you, you can see how big it is. But I already had them pre-rolled when I went to the um, shoebox packing party, so they were all ready to go. This one has a zipper pocket on the outside. So really handy for them to take their things home. Here is the fidget uh, toy that Michelle made. I just love it, it's so soft with the fleece here and the marble that moves around. Now a tip with the marble is put it in the corner away from the middle of your shoe box. I found out that they can actually help save some room and allow more things to fit in. Here is the notebook, 60 page notebook for this shoe box for school. And last but not least, the washcloth. It's very soft, nice washcloth. So all of that fit in this boy 10 to 14 shoe box. Let me know what your favorite thing to pack in a boy's shoe box that's that age, 10 to 14, your favorite thing to pack for them. And then also let me know if you are sending plush to the processing center in a box marked fillers, because I really think now is a great time if you haven't gotten started to start gathering up those plush that you find on clearance or on sale or that you have already purchased, but you want to set them aside instead of for shoe boxes, you want to send them for fillers. Um, let me know in the comments below if you are participating in the plush filler co um, contest, or it's not a contest, but it's plush filler project. It's a project. So please, I just hope that there's a lot of soft fillers sent to the processing center. I just am, I'm just so joyful as we're approaching the deadline and I'm getting very excited about what we have been able to accomplish this year for Operation Christmas Child and for the spreading of the gospel. So thanks for watching, God bless you, and bye for now.